like to welcome one and all to the Krishna Light Show. This is episode no less than 21. Yeah, we've been going for 21 weeks now. Um, the show is based on reminiscences of my wife, by Bobby and I, of the Krishna Conscious Movement as it was getting started in Australia and the many visits of Srila Prabhupada, our spiritual master, to the continent down under. It's based on the book, a great transcendental adventure by Kormidas. I also pepper in to the show various rap songs that I present on stage for the Festival of Colors. Not being able to do that this year, being frustrated because of the cancellation of all our events. I'm nevertheless determined to remain sharp. And so, without any further ado, <laughs> let's start off with a spiritual song about the soul. Listen carefully and the complete idea of the soul based on the information that Krishna reveals to us in the Bhagavad Gita. When I look in your eyes, I see a shining soul. When I look in your eyes, I see a spirit soul. I see a soul that's never born, that never dies, learns to fly back home, back to the spiritual sky. From dust you come to dust you go. We have not spoken of the soul. This body is a set of clothes. Wears out and gets disposed. The flame of light and love. Leaves life in the machine. All the never snuff. All the smile and scene. For the soul there is no beginning. Ending there is no. Smaller than the eye. Brighter than the sun. When I look in your eyes. I see a shining soul. When I look in your eyes, I see a spirit soul. See a soul that's never born, spark of never die. Learns to fly back home, back to the spiritual sky. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare. Let's throw in a few Sanskrit verses about the soul from the Bible Gita, shall we? While I'm at it. <clears throat> The inner soul continues when the outer body ends. Like flame from wood, sparks ascending, transcending dark matter, blending with the sky, invisible to the naked eye. You cannot kill, you cannot die. You cannot burn, you cannot fry. The soul cannot be scorched by any blaze. No water can drown the spirit. No wind can make it faint. You cannot cut another, nor can you bleed. The soul is eternal, unborn, a seed, indivisible, indestructible, forever free from birth, death, old age, and disease. That house will return to the past. The soul can never tell its own. See it in the heart, beating its drum, powering it in, brighter than the sun. The soul is superior force that is on the run to tend the soul, and God's ability to do it. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare. As a cloud is seated on air, so spirit supports the flesh. Take away the living force, just chemicals lie in there. A corpse naked and bare. Not a twitch or wiggle. Not a subtle wink or giggle. Can't stick it in. Hold it with a rhythm. Half fine, dumb, mute. Can't be rewarded. Can't ignore it. Can't be stood. Dead as a doornail. Stick it in the heart. Only thing is eternal. Burn it. Bury it. Earth, earth, dust, dust, ash, ashes. 
infirm body versus immortal soul. Where the goodness conquer ignorance, make a spiritual flow. Say now, give voice and drum. Make some noise for the spiritual flow. I say, Hari, you say Krishna. Hari, Hari. I say Krishna, you say Krishna. Krishna, Krishna. I say, Hari, you say Hari. Hari, Hari. I say, Hari, you say Ram. Hari, Hari. I say, Rama, you say Ram. Ram. I say, Hari, you say Hari. Hari, Hari. As a cloud is seen on air, so spirits approach the cross, take away the living force, and kiss chemicals lie in there, a corpse naked and bent, not a creature wiggle, not a saddle wink, or jiggle, can't tickle it, or puzzle with the rim. Death, mild, new, down, down, can't be water, can't ignore it, can't be stored, deader than a door, now stricter than a bolt. Infirm body versus immortal soul, very materialist, conquer, just make a spiritual choice, sing out, give voice, make some noise, rejoice, for the spiritual soul. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, 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 The inner self continues when the outer body ends, my play from wood, sparks, and canvas, transcending dark matter, blending with the sky. Invisible to the naked eye. <laughs> you cannot kill nor can you die. You cannot burn nor can you cry. The soul cannot be scorched by any blaze. No water can drown the spirit. No wind can make it fade. You cannot cut another nor can you bleed. The soul is eternal, unborn, a seed, indivisible, indestructible, forever free from birth, death, old age, and disease. That house will be called your father. The soul forever shall be lost. Seated in the heart, feeding its breath, the power of the brighter than the sun, the soul is superior to its days on, the month of seven, of course, and God has never been there. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. When I look in your eyes, I see a shadow of this. When I look in your eyes, I see a spirit of this. See a soul that's never born, spark, and never die. There is a fire that goes back to the spirit of this. From dust to come, to dust to death, there's not the token of the soul. Body like a set of clothes wears out and gets its place. Flame of light and light gives light to the machine. Never, 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 it's not so much of light and sin. But the soul is no beginning, and it is not. Small and round, bright and sun. When I look in your eyes, I see a shadow tray. When I look in your eyes, I see a spirit soul. I see a soul that's never born. Spark it never dies. There is a fly that like won't. Spiritual More about the soul as we proceed onward this morning. The Krishna Light Show, episode number 21. We're close to page 400 in this book by Kormadas. So we'll be winding up here within a few more weeks. Incidentally, the image behind me, you may be used to seeing the Salt Lake City, uh, Spanish Fork Temple in the background, but today we've decided to put the Salt Lake City Temple, which this lady who is going to come and read to you, designed. Let's give it up for by Bobby David Dussy. Thanks for putting that image up there. Um, we finished the construction on that about this time last year in August and we opened, it was a grand opening, a huge number of people came about the time of Jin Mastomy and shortly after that. Uh, then of course COVID hit. So relatively speaking, everything is 50% closed. But the temple's open for visitors. We do have a small program uh, on a Saturday evening. People are starting to come back because um, we're allowed a certain number. So you're welcome to visit. There's a beautiful gift store there and a huge reception area. So there's no lack of space. The ceilings are 24 feet high. So there's no lack of um, air. So we can get quite a decent number of people in there. 
without breaking any COVID rules and keep everybody safe. There's also a large parking lot, lots of room for people to have activities outdoors. And <clears throat> just as in Spanish folk, we always serve Prashad and there'll be food. So Saturday night in the Spanish folk temple, Sunday night in Spanish folk, <clears throat> Saturday night in the Salt Lake temple. So now reading, <clears throat> again, from Korma's tra Great Transcendental Adventure and Prabhupada's visit to Australia. <clears throat> Srila Prabhupada's first public lecture of the visit at Melbourne's Cavernous Town Hall was scheduled for 8 p.m. The devotees had been readying, just let me move the book here, readying the hall since mid-afternoon. The gold and orange temple Vyasa sign placed in center stage was flanked by two flower arrangements, various colored flags and festoons. So when that Vyasa sign was first made, it was like a spaceship, it was blue and pink and uh, after some time we recovered it <clears throat> I remember going out and getting the orange colored silk I guess and we recovered it thinking it was a more suitable color for Srila Prabhupada since he was a sannyasi and I'm not sure about this particular occasion but <clears throat> for the most part when we had that Vyasa sign out on a stage we would flank it not just by flowers, but by two paintings. I'd done one of Lord Chaitanya and one of Radha Krishna combined. And we'd have those two paintings either side of Prabhupada. <clears throat> A large display of Srila Prabhupada's books was set up in the foyer and a sumptuous feast had been prepared for after the program. And the devotees performed kirtan on stage as Prabhupada's car drove through the VIP entrance. Looking majestic and effulgent, Prabhupada entered the hall wearing a, a shiny silk dhoti and kurta. The hall did not appear as full as it had been at Prabhupada's first lecture, <clears throat> which was two years previously. But three or four hundred people in attendance was quiet and they were also attentive. Srila Prabhupada chanted his favorite bhajan, Jaya Radha Madhava, which is a prayer we always chant before speaking from the Srimad Bhagavatam. Although Srila Prabhupada lectured regularly on the Bhagavad Gita as he traveled, he did not use consecutive verses from city to city. In each city, he would open the book at a different place, randomly. So now he chose to speak on Bhagavad Gita, chapter 3, verse 27, which translates, The spirit soul, bewildered by the influence of false ego, thinks himself the doer of activities that are, in actuality, carried out by the three modes of material nature. I remember trying to understand that verse when I was at college, university in London. I had a copy of Bagwood Gita on my shelf, translated by Christopher Isherwood. And that verse made no sense at all to me. But as soon as you read Prabhupada's translation and purport, it begins to make sense that the three modes of material nature are like a machine. We're seated on the machine. So Prabhupada's demeanor was grave. Krishna consciousness, he said, was a science. And such a science of God transcended all sectarian religion. God has many names according to different religious systems. But the first name, the real name, is Christo. Prabhupada pronounced it Christo. 
And you will be glad to understand that this Christo is a Greek word and it is perverted, a perverted pronunciation of Krishna. The meaning of Christo in the Sanskrit dictionary and the Greek dictionary is always the same. And from this Christo, the word Christo or Christ has come. So he speaks, we'll skip ahead a little to the questions. During the question time, a spokesman from a popular yoga group that claimed that their guru was God asked Srila Prabhupada a loaded question. This is always the question in spiritual life about personalism and impersonalism. Prabhupada was always very strict about explaining the difference between God and the Guru. But in this he tries to make people understand although they're different, we worship them as if they were one. So here's Prabhupada. <clears throat> okay, the, the gentleman's asking a question. Prabhupada, Lord Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, that when there's a decline of true religion and when evil increases in the world, then he manifests himself in a body, a human body, and comes to earth to rescue the human beings from their illusion. Now these conditions exist today. Is he here in human form or does he still have to come? Prabhupada answered very gravely, God has already come. Then the uh, yoga person asks, in what form? And Prabhupada answers, in the form of his holy name, Hare Krishna. <clears throat> so incarnation in sound is none different from incarnation in visible form. But the man was argumentative. No, no. He said he manifests in a human form. He said he manifests in a human form. So Prabhupada took some pains to explain further. God has a human form and God is everywhere. So if he comes in the form of sound, what is the objection? Because what is this human being? You are seeing a human being, this flesh. This is a combination of matter, earth, water, fire, air, ether. That is a combination. What are you seeing? Your eyes are also the combination. But the sound is ether. So if you accept earth as the form, where is your objection to accepting ether? They're all material. The man, however, persisted in arguing. <clears throat> there are two objections, he said. One is that he said, I manifest in human body, in the human body, such as we have here. So that requires a little intelligence that anyone who is preaching the holy name of God, he is also God. So this is Prabhupada speaking. He says, you have to understand, if you, whatever you're teaching, it makes you representative of that. So you become like God. So Prabhupada paused. The hall was silent. Prabhupada repeated the point. Anyone who preaches the glories of God, he is also God more silence. So the man says, are you God? Prabhupada says, I am a servant of God. The man says, but you're preaching the holy name of God. And Prabhupada says, yes, that is my business. The man says, but then by your own words, you're God. Prabhupada, but that does not mean that I am God, but I am equal to God. Then there's a long silence. And Prabhupada speaks. At least you should see like that. 
In other words, Prabhupada would never consider himself equal to God, but his disciples and anyone who wants that knowledge, they have to see him in that way. So that is explained. So then he quotes, Sak sadari twain as the master sasti tastata bhav yata eva sadhi. So the Guru's position is like this. Sak sadari, he is God. How is he? How is he God? It is said, those who are intelligent accept like that. Then the next line says, Kintu, where, why is he God? Kintu Prabhu Yam Priya Evatasya. He is God because he is very dear to God. So, as I said, in the absolute world, God is a person. He is very God and a person that is very dear to God. He is also God, but he does not think that he is God. He knows he is a servant of God. It requires a little spiritual understanding how the servant of God and God are the same. Oh, it certainly takes a lot of understanding. And Prabhupada never claimed to be God. Sometimes he would say, anyone who claims to be God, he is not God, he's dog. So Prabhupada never claimed to be God, but he always claimed to be a servant of a servant of a servant, a thousand times over a servant of God. But we have to see him like God, because through our service to him, our service is passed on to his spiritual master. He never said we were serving him. We would say he would say that we were help him, helping him serve his spiritual master. And then his spiritual master was serving his spiritual master, and so on, all the way back to God. So that our service is delivered through the Guru. So service to the Guru is the same as service to God. A Christian lady asked whether Srila Prabhupada believed in the Bible. His answer to that was, why not? It's a holy book. Why should I not believe? An aspiring devotee in the audience asked Prabhupada how to develop enthusiasm. Prabhupada gave the example of a drunkard. If you want to become a drunkard, he said, mix with people who drink. Common sense. Then you drink little, little, little. Then you become a big drunkard. Similarly, if you have got a little sense that I should understand what is God, if one wants to sincerely advance, I will understand what is God, then your drinking business begins immediately. Then if you continue, just as a drunkard becomes a bigger drunkard, you become a big devotee by associating with devotees. Finally, a man stood up and asked Prabhupada's opinion of the recent news article that misquoted Prabhupada. <laughs> I remember this. It's very funny. They, they misquoted Prabhupada, saying that he would become an animal. He said, uh, Prabhupada was said that he planned to Return to earth as a dog. Prabhupada answered with a grin. The animal did not understand anything. So he was there referring to the reporter. The audience erupted in laughter and applause. And Prabhupada's quoted here. Because he is an animal, he is thinking like that. Everybody thinks others are like himself. Prabhupada explained his observation by way of an amusing story. A man who was hard of hearing called his wife, asking her when dinner was ready. She asked, she answered him saying, yes, yes, <clears throat> I'm coming fast as I can. But the man was deaf. Because he was deaf, he could not hear his wife answering. Therefore, he considered his wife was deaf 
and could not hear his question. The actual fact, the reverse was true. He was deaf and he could not hear her answer. So in the same way, Prabhupada said, the person who wrote the article was thinking that Prabhupada was like himself. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So now we're coming to June 28th, 1974. And Chiru Prabhu is going to take over. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Oh, my cushions. You don't need them. I told her she had to sit up higher in the chair. So she brought all these cushions this week. Why do you think of this uh, sample of the architecture behind me? Huh? This opens August last year. Uh, took two years to build. It cost a lot more than we thought it would. In fact, we're still in debt, $400,000. So your donations would be gratefully appreciated. But it's up and running. And the... Uh, the Saturday Feast program, which had been curtailed during COVID, is up and running as of last week. We had special guests at Baita, singing Kirtan, and Navina Nidra was the speaker. About 30 people came. <clears throat> and so we're wide open now for Prashadam, nice talk, Kirtan. Every Saturday between 7 and 8.30, you can come earlier if you like, because there's RT, as well as a talk at 6 o'clock by Govinda. Baka, which is more inside information for those who are devotees. But we have to keep to our promise of not only sharing reminiscences from Prabhupada's visits to Australia, but also spiritual rap songs. Now this basically is three different poems that were written a long time ago. And, um, oops, wait, back to the previous one. There we are. Now, one talks about birth, the other talks about life, the, the, the way that someone who is spiritually realized lives their life. And if they live their life with spiritual realization as a priority, then the third poem has to do with making death a successful transition to the spiritual world. Okay, So the first one, I forget who was the author, but it talks about birth. And most people who are suffering from ignorance, believe that this is our first entrance into life. However, this poem shows that before assuming this body, the soul had a prior history. Um, then the second song is from Psalm of Life by Longfellow, I think, or Wordsworth, I'm not sure which, tells us about how to live a life in which spiritualization is a priority. And then the third song by Alexander Pope called... Uh, uh, it starts off vital spark of heavenly flame. Uh, it's, I think it's called a grave where is that victory? The ultimate triumph, the victory that one has over death and reincarnation if one lives one's life with God first place. So let's do it. Medley of three songs about the past, present, and ultimately victorious future of your soul. Wait for the percussion to kick in here. Our birth is but a sleep and a forgetting the soul that rises with us, our life star, has had elsewhere its setting cometh from the fire. Not an entire forgetfulness, nor an utter nakedness we come, but trailing clouds of glory from God, who is our home. Heaven lies about us in our infancy. Days of the prison house begin to close upon the growing boy. He beholds the light and once it comes, he sees it in his joy. And this youth, who daily further from the east must travel, still his nature is priest, and by this vision splendid is on his way attended. At length the man receives it, fade away, and die in the common life of death. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, 
I did. I did. <clears throat> Tell me not in mournful numbers. Life is but an empty dream, for the soul is dead that slumbers. Things are not what they seem. Life is real, life is earnest, and the grave is not its goal. Thou so art the best return. Was not spoken of the soul. Not enjoyment and not sorrow is our destiny and no end. But that I could eat tomorrow, find us further than to death. Trust no future, however pleasant. Like the dead past, bury the dead past. Half in the living presence, heart within, God overhead. Heart is long, time is brief, and our hearts are stout and brave. Still, like muffled drums are beating, funeral marches to the grave. In the world's broad field of battle, in the bivouac of life, be not like dumb driven cattle, yet we are in the sky. The lives of great men all remind us. But we can make our lives sublime, and the party leave behind us footprints in the sands of time. Footprints that perhaps another, sailing over life's solemn men. The poor and shipwreck brothers seem to take heart again. Let us then be up and doing, with a heart for any place, still achieving, still pursuing, learn the labor and the rain. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari. This last one tells how if you live your life for self-realization, keeping God in the center, not only do you not have to fear death, but you can positively look forward to it in excitement because it indicates your transition from this material body of flesh and blood to an eternal spiritual body, knowledge, bliss, and eternal. Listen to what Alexander Pope said in the sun. Vital spark of heavenly flame, quit or quit this mortal friend, trembling, open, lingering, blind, holds pain, the bliss, and Cease fun nature, cease thy strife, heavenly language in the light. Heart they whisper, angels say, seek your spirit from the heart. What is this absorption pipe? Steals my spirit. Cuts my sight down. God steals my spirit, cuts my sight down. Cuts my yeah. Tell me a soul can this be kept. The world receives, disappears. Heaven opens on my eyes, my ears, with sound, so that is Green, blend, blend your way. I know I fly. No grave, where is thy victory? No death, where is thy sting? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Vital spark of heavenly flame, quit our focus, mortal friend. Trembling, open, lingering, flying, no decay, no bliss, and dying. Cease by nature, cease thy strife, lightning, lightning, and the light. Heart they wish to raise their sin. Sister spirit, come on in. What is this? Absorbs my sight. He quite steals my spirit, shuts my sight, draws my spirit, drowns my breath, tells me what's all. Can this be death? The world receives and disappears. Heaven opens in my eyes, my ears. The sounds are out of me. Land, land, the wings I mount, I fly. Day of words, I think, and I breath, words I stay. Our birth is better sleep and forgetting the soul that rises with this. Our life star has had elsewhere its setting and come from the fire. Not an entire forgetfulness, nor an utter nakedness we come, but trailing clouds of glory from God who is our home. Heaven lies about us in our infancy. Shades of the prison house begin to close upon the growing boy. He beholds the light, and whence it comes, he sees it in his breath. And yet this youth, who daily further, must travel from the east, still his nature's peace. Eventually the man proceeds to fade away and die of the light. Krishna Krishna Hari Hari Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari Hari Getting into the spirit, aren't we? Picking up here from where my Bobby left off. 
let's see now where did she leave off Okie dokie, let's move ahead. I'm not sure, to be honest with you, where she stopped. Okay, let's go forward here. Okay. Um, I assume I've already covered that engagement in Melbourne's town hall. We'll pick up here. Melbourne's press reported the previous night's successful town hall program with an article entitled, Chanting Greets the Swami. The national paper, The Australian, paid continuing attention to the dramatic rescue incident in its morning's editorial. Quote, if there's one thing the Hare Krishna sect has been short on, it is favorable publicity. So naturally, the Saffron folk are delighted over the national coverage they won with their rescue of the jumping women. But the fact that makes the rescue doubly impressive was their use of a holy rug. It was actually the canopy of Lord Jagannath's chariot, not just an ordinary bedroom one for the rescue mission. The rug was being sewn for use in a religious festival due to be held in Melbourne tomorrow. So if you recall from last week, devotees were sewing the canopy for the Jagannath chariot for the festival coming up in the parade. And the house next door, there was a sewing factory on a higher story and a fire broke out. The ladies were trapped, so they uh, were at the, I think was the third story window, screaming for help. And the devotees had the presence of mind to bring this canopy out, canvas canopy, grab passers-by and everyone hold it, held it and stretched it. And the ladies jumped safely into the canopy, saved three or four lives. And one of the ladies was pregnant as well. So this article in the newspaper continued. <clears throat> the selfless spreading of the holy rug raised an interesting question. Could such a rug be used? In a religious ceremony, if it has been used to receive the feet of heathens plummeting from a considerable height, it hardly seems likely because the rug was to be used as a type of canopy to shade his divine grace, A.C. Bhav, given out to Swami Prabhupada at the festival. You see, the Swami is not one of your ordinary Swamis. He is the founder of the Hare Krishna movement. Robin Watson from our Melbourne office approached the sect with the appropriate questions. Not hardly appropriate, but anyway, questions. Would the holy rug simply be burned or replaced, or was it possible that it could be restored to grace by some sort of rectification ceremony? No, she was told the rug will get by with some restitching of the seams. <laughs> Not even dry clean is necessary. I think the paper got a little too cerebral with that. The devotees were <laughs> quite practical. Down home papers are bending over backwards to find some a weird angle. And what he just said, no, nah, we'll use it. No problem. <laughs> Let's go forward here. <clears throat> ah, page is hard. Yes. Here we are. This is a, a very famous uh, engagement that Robert had at a seminary in Melbourne. I thought I had been the one that arranged the speaking program, but this mentions that Sabapati had organized it. St. Pasco's at Box Hill in Melbourne's eastern suburbs. St. Pasco's Franciscan Seminary was a college for training friars for the Franciscan order in the Roman Catholic Church. <clears throat> the Yara Theological Union, a separate entity from the Franciscan order, was one of the accredited facilities of theology which conducted courses and granted degrees in Christian theology in Victoria province of Australia. Although separate from the Franciscan order, it used the seminary as its center of operations for administration. Sri the Prophet's car drove through acres of pleasant grounds and pastures and stopped in the circular driveway outside the hall where he used to speak. A large group of black-robed Franciscans, both young and old, trainee priests and Yara Theological Union private students stood alongside the chanting devotees to greet his divine grace. As Prabhupada emerged from the white Ford LTD, the kirtan became quiet. Srila Prabhupada, surrounded by devotees and senior monks, walked up the pathway to the lecture hall. Srila Prabhupada's large temple Vyasasana had been set up in front of a blackboard. Prabhupada, wrapped in a white chowder and wearing a garland made with marigolds and fragrant gardenias, sat before 100 seminarians, 20 tutors, and 30 temple devotees. Father 
Green, the host, formally greeted Prabhupada. After another short introduction by Sabhapati, Prabhupada began to speak. Father Green had hinted on the common platform of religion in his speech, and Prabhupada took his cue from there. Quote Prabhupada. The common platform is not very difficult to understand because religion means to know God and to abide by the orders of God. That is religion. If you take any religion, these three things are there. That we must try to know God, to know his desires, and to fulfill them. doesn't matter whether it is in India or America or Australia. Any human being, if he tries to satisfy God and read the scriptures, never mind whether the Bible, Bhagavad Gita, or Bhagavata, he will then understand God. Prabhupada explained the benefits of understanding God. You will be fully satisfied and pleased. If you are engaged in the service of the Lord without any motive and without being impeded, spontaneously loving, then you will feel complete satisfaction. Prabhupada gave the example of the famous Dhruva Maharaj, who as a five-year-old had gone to the forest to find God in order to receive a boon. After meditating the forest for six months, Dhruva Maharaj did see God, but on seeing God, his mind had changed. He said, my Lord, I'm now fully satisfied. I don't want any benediction from you. So thus in the Krishna conscious movement, we are chanting the holy name of God and we are recommending others to chant the holy name. God must have some name. In the Bible it said, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <clears throat> so there is name. God's name is there. God's name is Christ or Christo or Krishna. So we can chant combinedly. He invited the monks to chant along with us and he said the Greek name for Christ is the anointed one or Krishna. So he said, we'll chant Krishna, you can chant Krishna will chant combined, they will chant together. What is the difficulty? Those who are professing Christianity, never mind, you have got the name of God. Otherwise, why Jesus recommended that you glorify the name of God? That is chanting. So let us combinedly glorify the name of God. This is the common platform. Thank you very much. That was the end of his talk. The priests and seminarians present expressed their appreciation by applauding. Prabhupada sustained them. <coughs> During questions, the seminarians were very respectful. They stood with while questioning and addressed Srila Prabhupada as your divine grace. One priest asked, how would his divine grace see Jesus Christ? Prabhupada's obvious veneration for Lord Jesus moved the audience. <clears throat> Prabhupada said, Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, he is son of God, best son of God. We have all respect for him. Anyone who is Teaching people about God consciousness, he is respectable to us. It does not matter in which country and which atmosphere he was preaching. It does not matter. Another priest asked, Sir St. Francis, the founder of this particular order, expounded upon the teachings of Christ and seeing God everywhere. He even spoke of brother dog and sister cat, sister water, father wind. How would your grace respond to this? The room was tense and quiet. Prabhupada opened his eyes very wide and nodded. That is real God consciousness. This is real God consciousness. Not that I am God conscious and I kill the animal. That is not God conscious. To accept the trees, plants, lower animals, and even insignificant ants as brothers is real God consciousness. This is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Sama Sarvashi Bhudishu. Sama means equal to all living entities. One must see the spirit soul. Anyone, whether he's a cat, dog, tree, ant, insect, or a big man, is part and parcel of God. Each is simply dressed differently. One has the dress of a tree, one has the dress of a king, and one has the dress of an insect. It is also explained in the Bhagavad Gita, Pandita Samadarshana. One who is a pundit, learned, sees with equal vision. So if St. Francis was thinking like that, he had a higher understanding of spiritual life. It was a very touching moment. I was there and it was extremely moving. Many of the seminarians had tears flowing down their cheeks after Prabhupada's response to this. And in fact, I think the mood was that Prabhupada had even more reverence for many of their spiritual leaders than some of them had. It appeared that Prabhupada was giving an insight into St. Francis that perhaps many had never understood before. It became clear to those present, Christian and devotee alike, that Prabhupada had as much or even more appreciation for St. Francis 
than the Franciscans had themselves. During the chanting, Kirtan, many monks and priests stood and participated. Some clapped, others chanted, a few even shed tears. The once somber atmosphere was transformed into a joyful event. The men offered a large plate of cut fruits to Prabhupada, accepted a couple of pieces. The rest he indicated should be distributed to everyone present. Srila Prabhupada rose to leave and the successful program was completed. Chittahari, my old friend, recollects. As Srila Prabhupada was leaving the monastery, I introduced him to my mother. He smiled at her and said, you have a very nice child. My mother replied, well, I've got another nine. Prabhupada grinned. We can take them all, he said. <laughs> On his return trip to the temple, Prabhupada expressed his pleasure to the devotees present. It had been a successful event, he said. Later that day, in a letter to a couple of disciples in Bangalore, he mentioned the event. Your report that a Christian gentleman became a life member after being attracted to our books is also our experience. Just today we spoke at a seminary in Melbourne, Australia, and the young Franciscan monks listened very respectfully. When speaking to, to Christians, we never say our religious system is better than theirs, but we speak in the principle of love of God. They become convinced and pleased to hear our explanations of God consciousness based on the Vedic conclusions, if they are at all sincere. So whatever you come upon, so whenever you come upon such gentlemen or institutions, try to place our books there and make them life members also. <clears throat> so we're on page 365, well over probably three quarters of the way through the book, Korma's Great Transcendental Adventures, which take us back 50 years to when we were youngsters in our early 20s by Bobby and I just getting our feet wet in Krishna consciousness. Now here we are with a beautiful temple in Salt Lake City, another one Spanish Fork, a radio station it can be heard all over the world, the biggest festival of colors in North America, and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of service to perform more Prabhupada's more. Yeah. Shiksha Astaka. Astaka means also Shiksha means instructor. The Lord Chaitanya has disciples who wrote thousands and thousands of books on the science and theology of Krishna consciousness, but he himself is only studied with eight verses. And in these eight verses, all the essential elements of Krishna consciousness and the benefits of chanting Hare Krishna are being described. And here is our contemporary version of it in the last year of the eight verses. In the original Bengali, we have finished up this. 21st episode of the Fish Money Mind Show coming to you from Spanish for Hills Roundabout Network, virtual platform, and so on. I'm trying to find the right kind of music and voice. Okay, the Holy Man is trying to do the right kind of music. I'm also doing the right kind of music. I'm also doing the right kind of music. The holy names put all over the blessings of chain, Krishna, Lord, and Krishna, kind of anywhere, everywhere. The mercy shakti is clearly there. The divine act, we store our mental thoughts, or adapt the mind, or we start our heaven. Adapt the reservoir of love and care. No hard and fast roots, no license like truth. The bliss is bhakti. Yeah, yet truth is patient. Only the fairy of heart is open from the divine love of love. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Krishna. Hey, Ram, hey, Ram, 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 Ram. Night and day by chance of recitation, chant the day mantra of the heart of education, free from temptation, with the sensation of feeling yourself low and you're strong and sweet, no challenge and temptation, avoid of all sense of all stress, you will know it is a key to enjoy the right relation to the family. Hey, Krishna, 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 Beautiful women, worldly pain, even liberation hurt. Totally lame compared to the same pain, the chain, the holy hand. I used to see the sun of Nanda, that you're the one second and none by shining sun. I'm heartbroken in the ocean of birth and death, it's not worth its motion. 
pull me out of this cold bind of surrender to the atom in sweet splendor of your tender lotus feet. Pour one more eyes full of tears of love like rain from the skies above, one more voice choke up, one in friend tennis in my body of hope, stand on earth. Though a moment appears like twelve years ago when you're not here, I've only proclaimed your name on my life. You're going to be restrained and left in your face, or only by hiding your face. You will remain, my Lord, unconditioned, no matter what the difficulty, the crime, the burning, the burning, the shock. I am yours to draw my life. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, 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 Rama. These are the original words of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Son of God, 500 years ago. Chaitanya Dharthanam, Aitanam, Babaja, Bhagavan, Bhaktanam, Sreya, Kaira, Vishamika, Vishadam, Vidya, Bhagavan, Vishadam. Ananda Muri Bhardana Putri Param Pranamita Swaram Sarva Krishna Param Param Vijaya Kesu Krishna Sankaram Namna Vakari Bhavada Adi Vishayam Shakti Sada Pita Namati Shmarana Nikalaha Vita Dishi Tava Kripa Bhagavan Mamapi Dindai Mutisham Yagani Nanudadaha Minara Pisa Nishana Taroda Pisa Hishna Mani Namana Dana Krishna Dana Sarahari Nijana Nijana Nishandari Bhavi Dambati Dhanisha Kamai Mama Janda Nijana Nishari Bhavata Bhaktira Hanti Dhanisha I am the new Jalking Karapatita Mandishamu Krapaya Tavaparat and Tatish Kitadora, the Rinsk of Yukon Town. I am the Rikiri Ajara, the Rinsk of the Kiri Ajara, the Rikiri Ajara, the Rikiri Ajara, the Rana Gani Vadishadi. He died on the nation of Tatu Sakra Visayaka. So Yahi can be that someone who did not know him. A sister of her own direction of navigation of Mama Hakan for the last part of the Vidaki Vatara. Much for the Nathas to the Uban Hakara. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Ram. Chanting the holy names, claiming the God, is saying it's a divine strike, the soul, strike the spirit, the body, the moon, my soul, the dark and light, the light, the high scientific intelligence, and sense of light. The holy names, but all the blessings are saying, Krishna, go to chant it anywhere, everywhere. The mercy shot is fully there, divine after the spirit of mental software, adapt the malware, restart the heart. Half the edge of our bloody foot, no hard back wheels, no life, no school. The bliss of Bhakti there is free for the faith and only the prayer of the heart of Satan. Night and day, by constant recitation, chant the great mantra without hesitation, free from temptation. With the sensation of feeding yourself low in the strong, the street more challenged than the street, devoid of all sense of false prestige, and merely the speed of blood, vibration, and kindness. Go in the sun and number, though you're the one second and none, my shining sun, I'm heartbroken in the ocean of earth and death. It's not worth the promotion, pull me out of this pure blend of surrenders and honor. In the sweet splendor of your tender heart of sweet. Lord, one more eyes pour the tears of love like rain from the skies above, one more voice choke up. When it transcends my body, very snow and ink. Though a moment appears like 12 years or more than when I hear about me to perform your name and smile and again. Even if you're restraining me, rocking your grace, or pain me by hiding your face, you remain my Lord. Unconditioned, no matter what the difficulty, the time is in. Rain or shine, I am yours, and you are mine. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari As the music fades out here, we conclude our 21st episode of the Krishna Show. Thank you for having joined us as well. You're welcome to comment. We'll review the comments and respond to them just as soon as we sign off here. You're also invited to our Sunday evening open house and feast uh, at 5.15. We'll be giving a talk. Either I or one of our visitors will be giving a talk this afternoon. And don't forget the Motivational Monday, Transcendental Tuesday, and Wisdom Wednesday, our morning Srimad Bhagavatam classes. Uh, Mountain Daylight Time, 7.30 a.m., first three days of the week. Look forward to intersecting with you, hopefully in the very, very near future. In the meantime, don't forget to keep chanting. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare.